God bless you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. We're so grateful to God our Father for another opportunity, uh, another week, and, and on top of that, another year that he'll bless us to be able to come uh, before you and certainly to uh, say uh, to each one of you who have not, and I have not already, say Happy New Year to you, and, and send that we praise God uh, for 2020, and oh, what a year it was, and, and we just anticipate in some great things that is going to transpire in 2021. Uh, I want you to continue to be uh, prayerful and be safe, and, and um, Let's follow the, the rules that they have already put out in the land uh, for us to be safe and, and, and just uh, do what we know what's best. I uh, want to uh, say uh, praying for each one of you and certainly want to continue to lift each, each other up in prayer. Um, let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, we come uh, again today to say thank you for all your many rich blessings that you continue to bestow upon us. We thank you, gracious God, for another week that you've allowed us to come in your presence, in the house of prayer, uh, to come not only to talk to you, but God, we ask now you speak to us, talk to us in your word. Thank you for these few minutes that we're able to share with each other in your word. Bless those who are sick, those who are afflicted, those in nursing home, who's at home, who's in the hospital, God, Father God, you know where they are. We just actually just touch and heal, even right now. Bless those who are bereaved. Comfort those that God. Those who are less fortunate, those who are still dealing with the coronavirus, whether the indirect or direct, uh, God, we pray that you just strengthen them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless our, bless our city, bless our community, bless our state, bless our world as a whole. Have mercy upon us right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come now, God, speak to us. Come in the person of the Holy Spirit. Touch our spiritual ears that we can hear, our eyes that we can see, our hearts that we can accept what you have to say to us on this day. We ask that you let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in our sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. All right, uh, this week I want to... Uh, deal briefly um, in this uh, new year and as we as we celebrate uh, Christmas tide I want I want to I want to look at that and put a little bit more emphasis from our Christian uh, 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 standpoint um, when we celebrate and look at our, our Christian calendar is that uh, we are we are we, we in the midst of um, of celebrating Christmas tide that 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 period is from December the uh, 25th to January uh, the uh, the 5th and so I want I want to uh, we don't do too much of that in our in our church and our denomination deal with um, some of the the, the, the times or events that we ought to be celebrating, we ought to remember. And so I want to just uh, uh, um, reopen that. I want to open up our under understanding and reemphasize the importance of, of Christmas, Christmas tide. Uh, this is, we just got to dealing with an a event that dealing with preparation, getting ready for uh, God's gift, God's uh, sending us uh, his son to Christmas time. So I want I want to just uh, look at that, and then after we discuss this on today, I want you to examine your heart and see is there anything there that w we can do better uh, as far as celebrating uh, 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 Christ's birthday. Okay, so so we want to we just want to deal with uh, Christmas Christmas time. Okay, uh, let me uh, give you a few, uh, some several scriptures that I want you to meditate upon that is dealing with that, what we believe uh, and, uh, concerning why we celebrate Christmas tide as, as Christian, as believer, 
and um, why do we celebrate Christmas tide? We're gonna do, okay, uh, I want you to meditate first of all in Genesis chapter three, verses uh, eight through 15. Genesis chapter three, verses eight through 15. Secondly, let Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 through 18. That's Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 through 18. Uh, thirdly, Job chapter 42, verses 10 through 17. Job 42, verses 10 through 17. Fifth, Psalms number 96. Psalms number 96, uh, the entirety, but definitely a number, verses number 11. That's Psalms number 96, verses 11. Psalms number 98, verses number 3. That's Psalms 98, verse number 3. Uh, the next one is Psalms the entire number of 72, Psalms 72. That's Psalms number 72. Okay, um, the next one is um, Psalms number 147. Psalms 147, verses 12 through 20. That's Psalms 147, verses 12 through 20. Okay, uh, the next one is Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. The next one is Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 5. That's Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 5. Okay, the next one is... Um, uh, the, the, it's going to be um, Isaiah chapter 52, verses 7 through 10. That's Isaiah 52, verses 7 through verses number uh, 10. Okay, the next one is also Isaiah chapter number 11, verses one through four. That's Isaiah chapter 11, verses one. Matter of fact, let's go to uh, verses one through nine. That's Isaiah 11, one through nine. Okay, Isaiah chapter nine, verses two through seven. That's Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. Okay, the next one uh, that I want you to meditate on is going to be Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 7 through 14. That's Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 7 through 14. Okay, the next one is Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Okay, the next one is going to be um, Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. That's Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through verse number 38. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 14. That's Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 14. Okay, the next one is going to be uh, Jeremiah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm excuse me, St. John chapter 1, verses 9 through 18. That's St. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. 
That's St. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. Okay, uh, next one is going to be, I want you to meditate also on um, James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. Also, Titus, Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14. That's Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through verse number 20. Also, Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 12. That's Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through verses number 12. And I want to say that that, that, that should, I uh, want to make sure you got also Acts chapter 7, verses 44 and 43. Do, do, Acts chapter 7, verses 44 through verses 53. Acts chapter 7 verses 44 through verses 53. So, so I want you to meditate on those scriptures and uh, you would um, find that they uh, is connected to what we're going to or give reference to what we're going to be dealing with dealing with Christmas, Christmas time. So the question is, first of all, uh, what is Christmas time? Okay, uh, what is Christmas tide? Uh, Christmas tide is God's gift to man. That that's that that that's God's gift to man. And when we think about uh, His gift to man, the greatest gift that He gave to man is in Saint John chapter three. Verse number 16, for God so loved the world, okay, that he gave his only begotten son, okay, that whosoever believeth in him shall have eternal life. So when you kind of look at what, uh, uh, what Christmas tide is, is, is centered around, it's centered around God's gift. His gift to man is his son. And the son's gift to man is eternal life. And in, 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 the, in the middle of that, if, you're going, if we're going to be able to obtain that, there got to be some believing. Okay? We got to believe. Okay? So Christmas tide uh, also is known as... Uh, uh, the uh, 12 tides, dealing with the 12 days, um, starting with Christmas uh, to the sixth day of January. Dealing with, uh, uh, so, so, we, so we're dealing with um, the Christmas tide. And, and, and what many believers, and, what, and I'm, not, I'm not at no one, but I think it has to do with a teaching uh, for my church is that is that men make the mistake of thinking that Christmas ends on the twenty fifth day of December? No, 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 no. That that's that that's that that's not that's 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 not that that's not, that's not uh, the way that the Lord had uh, this design. The celebration actually begins on the twenty fifth, on up until January the sixth, which which which. Which, which, which is, which is reason why I wanted to bring this to our attention, is because is that we are making the mistake of just celebrating it on the twenty fifth. Okay, and so, and so, what, so what we're doing between uh, Christmas tide and e Epiphany, and we, we deal with that later on, is that is that we still supposed to be celebrating. God's gift to man. And in those 12 days is that we ought, we ought, we ought, to, we ought to 
set aside and, and, and set aside and that is, is that is that is that is that is that is uh, that we want we want we want to receive what God has for us his son Jesus in and also we want to receive eternal life okay so we're dealing we're dealing with us receiving God's gift now we've got to first of all get that get that in our mind And if I, if, I, if I can park that for a moment and get you to go with me and think about it, is that, is that um, all of us like to receive gifts. I don't, care who you, I don't care who you are, I don't care what you may have, how much you may have, is that all of us love to receive gifts. We enjoy receiving gifts. Okay? Now, what we have to think about is that when, when, what, what constitutes a gift is, is, that, is that what constitutes a gift is that, is that I give you a, if I give you a gift is that uh, that gift that I give to you is that, first of all, I'm giving it out of the depths and the, and, and, and the love of my heart to you that uh, I'm not expecting anything back in return. Okay? Me giving the gift does not cost you anything. All you have to do is, is, is to accept the gift. Now, 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 if I'm giving you the gift and you give me five or ten dollars back, is that that's not really a gift? Is that we just making an exchange? Me giving you the gift is that if I'm looking back something back in return, is that it's not a gift? Okay. So 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 think about the excitement. Or receiving a gift. And then think also about what, what are some of the best gifts or the best gift you have received unexpectedly. Okay? And when you start when you start making that list, all of us got different answers. But, but when we look at God's gift, is that God gave us the greatest gift that was ever given to a man. Okay? And when you look at the greatest gift was wrapped up in human flesh, his son Jesus, and the greatest gift that his son Jesus gave was eternal life. Okay, and what a gift. And you can't and we can't just celebrate that gift just one day. Okay. So 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 John John the Apostle John takes us to the first reason why we ought to celebrate Christmas tide. That's in St. John chapter one, verses number one through five. Read it when you get a chance. It is, is that, is that, is that, is that, uh, John said, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God, and the Word was with God. In other words, the gift that God gave to us was with God in the beginning. And John says that through him, through this gift, all things was made. And without this gift, without him, nothing was made that has been made. And notice what he kept saying. He said, in him was life. And that life, life was the light of all mankind. The light that shines in darkness. 
and darkness has not been able to overcome it. So we celebrate Christmas tide not just because of the fact, and it goes deeper than just uh, Christ is coming, his birth, but we celebrate his incarnation, God, God himself wrapping himself up in human flesh. Are you following me? And so, and so since we believe in him, and we have the light in us. That's what Luke picks up in, in Luke chapter 2, verses 14, is, is, that, is that glory to God, and it talks about glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace among those with whom he is pleased. In verse 14, is that during this Christmas time, is that we should be glorifying God during that time. Not, 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 just, not just on Christmas Day. Is that God loved us so much is that this is the time that we bring glory to God. And when you look at, it goes back to Genesis chapter 1, is that when you look at God, in the beginning, God created not only the heavens and the earth, but he also created man. Are you hearing me? So this is an opportunity for us to, for, for, for us to glorify God, to, 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 to boast about what God has created in us. Okay? So, so, so the celebration of Jesus, breath means on earth to us, is, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that we are closer to God than many of us realize we are. Okay? And so during Christmas time, is that is, is that is that is that we let the is, is that is that we are broadcasting we 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 are, we are letting the world know we're just not putting up lights on a Christmas tree is that is that is that is that is that we got the light of him within us and that and that and that's why we saying glory to God in the highest that's why we celebrate Christmas time that's why we celebrate uh, our Christmas. We, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We, we are not being no hurry with taking down our Christmas tree. Because when we understand what it's symbolizing, what it represents, is that is that it's illuminating Christ in and through us. Okay. So Christmas tide is that we are made to glorify God. Okay. And so, so this is another reason why we celebrate uh, and we should be celebrating Christmas tide uh, after Christmas, on the day of Christmas, is that Jesus is our Savior. He, 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 he's, he's our Savior. Okay? And that, 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 is, that is more significant than anything is that he saved us. And that's when you read Luke chapter 19, verse number 10, is that he came, listen to what Jesus came to. Luke said he came to seek and to save those which are lost. And so when we start thinking about Christmas, is that it, 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 it causes us to reflect about this momentous event that happened when God gave us the best gift. Okay, and then let me tell you quickly is that this is another reason why we ought to celebrate Christmas tide after the twenty fifth, along with the twenty fifth. But but until we get to the Epiphany, 
is that we ought to celebrate. Don't, don't be in no hurry about throwing away the poinsettias and, and taking down the tree and, and doing all that. Is that, is that when you, is that there's a time for us to refocus, to make an assessment of our life before, as we're getting ready to enter into a new year. It's a time for us to, to refocus, to, 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 to see how much emphasis that we have put on Jesus' birth. Then we have put on self and others. Okay? Because, and, 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 and this is good teaching, because it's so easy during this time of the year, it's so easy for us to give others and ourselves more attention than we are to bring blessings to God. Okay? So it's a time for us to refocus, not a time for us to get in debt. Okay? It's not a time for us to, 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 to start uh, thinking about, you know, uh, I got to get this and I got to get, no, it's a, it's a time for us to refocus. To see why this, this, this season, what this season is really all about. Are we praising God like we should? Okay? And so when we start thinking about a gift, is that, is that how appreciative are we are of the gift that God gave us? Okay? So the greatest gift of all is, is for you and, 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 and myself is to do what um, any um, sound or any reasonable person does is, is that is that is that is that when someone gives you a gift, is, is that is that uh, you, 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 don't, you, you and I don't suppose to ask that person that is given a gift how much did it cost? <laughs> we don't, you, 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 it's not it's not it's not polite it's not it's not right to ask where did you get it from? No, you you don't ask when someone is giving you a gift. Is that the best the best? And the most polite way to do is to accept the gift. I don't believe y'all hearing me. It's never polite to ask, how much did it cost? <laughs> Where you got it from? No, that's not polite. That's, that's, that's not a heart of gratitude. A heart of gratitude is to accept the, the gift. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. So let me, let, 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 let me put it in your lap and, and let you chew on this. Have you told the Lord, thank you lately for giving you the greatest gift? And when you kind of look at, even if you want to look at what it costs <laughs> God to give up his son, and when you start thinking about what it costs his son to give up for us is, is that then, 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 then in turn you need to, to ask yourself what is it that I got to give up? That's what I want to hear to that. What, what is it that I want to give up? What, what's going to cost me? Jesus says that if you believe in me and you believe what I did for you on the cross is that you're going to have eternal life. And all I need to, and all that I'm trying to say oh what a gift it is. And all we have to do is receive the gift Believe their gift and accept the gift. 
Okay? So, so let, me, let, me, let, me, let, let me challenge each one of us in this new year. And as we get ready, the Lord bless us to continue to be here around to see the tournament. Let, let, me, let, let me just challenge us. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry to, to put up and, and the, the tree and put up the, uh, uh, the lights and, 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 and just uh, shortchange God on celebrating Christmas after the 25th. Are, are you hearing me? We need to take those 12 days. <laughs> Okay, between the, we need to take them tw them twelve days between January the the sixth and December the the twenty fifth and celebrate God's gift. Make it a practice. Don't open up all of them on the twenty fifth. <laughs> Make it a practice. Hold out some of them. Open up some of those gifts. But most of all, we need to celebrate Christ. So I, I want to I challenge us as, as we get, as we, as we get a, in a deeper and a closer relationship with the Lord, let's, let's celebrate Christ's birthday. Okay? And let's celebrate it with joy. All right, God bless you, and I just hope we just uh, uh, was able to give you a little few nuggets uh, um, to, to, to feast upon and to think about, to ponder upon as we celebrate Christmas time, as we celebrate God's gift to man. And in doing that is that we are refocusing our response to God's gift. Okay? Is he your true love? <laughs> okay? And so let, let us let us let us keep all that in mind and let's make it as a practice. Let's make it a practice. He said, let's not wait to uh, just to celebrate it on the 25th. Let's make it a practice. To spend time. We're focusing. There's some things within us that we need to clean up and get straight. Let's, let's take that, them 12 days to do that. Okay, let's progress to God. Our Father, we thank you again for your word. We pray, Father, that you continue to hold us, continue to remind us about the greatest gift that you gave man was your son Jesus. And the greatest gift son, the son Jesus gave was eternal life. Teach us, O oh God, and remind us and the only thing we have to do is believe and to accept. Bless now, only you can do. We ask it all in your son Jesus' name. Amen.